What's up, YouTube? It's uh, May of 1992, and we're going to do an unboxing of some GM monogram radios. Wait a minute. Is that date? This can't be. This is new monogram radios in the box, but it's not 1992. Ah, I know what it is. This is radio porn. Yes. All right, so here's what it is. I found four brand new monogram MGM 148s, new old stock. Come from a fire department in um, Alaska. So this is the first unboxing video of a brand new MGM 148. We'll let K3 MOE hold the camera, XYL, she'll be the the camera girl for this one and we'll go ahead and unbox a brand new GE radio from 1992 now we this is we've been building the GMRS repeaters and some of the ham radio repeaters and stuff out of here but we have not been lucky enough to get any of them brand new so I just thought it would be interesting brand new squeaky clean a user's manual I mean, this is, these things are mint, man. They are, there it is, fellas. One GE MGM 148. I do, I do believe you were looking at the new 145 210 repeater. I think I am, I think I'm going to use some of these radios to replace the DR1X that's there. I was, these are just so mint, and I wouldn't, brand new GE microphone. I mean, guys, you know what all this stuff is. I just I just thought I'd put a little bit of radio porn out there. When I, when I seen these suckers brand new in the box, I just couldn't pass them up. Paid 10, I actually paid more to ship these jokers from Alaska. Paid $10 a piece for the radios, and it cost me $47 to ship them. So, uh, GE MGM 148 unboxing video in 2020. So that is, uh, I mean, these, these radios were released 28 years ago. I think it's safe that we can just go ahead and round it up to a 30 year old radio. I think they, uh, I think they might've came out in 1990 or whatever. These particular ones are from 1992. Uh, actually, this box is from 1988. So, manufacturing dates on the radios are 92, though. I checked the serial numbers. All right, YouTube, give it the thumbs up. Radio Porn 101. K5MOB, signing off.